All right, in this video, I want to show how you can uh, create a Canvas assignment associated with WebWork assignment and open it as an external tool. In this WebWork course that I'm working in, I have set the optional uh, setting. I've turned it on so that uh, students have to access the problems from Canvas. And what that does is it'll allow uh, WebWork to pass grades back to Canvas so that my grades stay up to date on the Canvas side. So notice this message. Um, it says that the student has to log into this set uh, via Canvas. Um, as an instructor, I have access. I could click in and see the problems, but a student would not be able to access the problems. So what I'm going to do is um, point out a couple things about how WebWork does its navigation. When I go to the course itself, so if I were to click on, um, if I were to just log in, and um, the URL at the top has the server ID and followed by my course ID. If I go into a, a homework problem set, you'll notice that what it's done is it's tacked on um, the homework assignment bunch of garbage at the end that I'm going to need to delete in just a little bit. Um, because I'm an administrator, there's a lot of extra information here because I can act like a student. So when I create a course in Canvas, I need this URL that goes to my homework set. So I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to use that after deleting all this extra stuff. Actually, let's do that right now. Let's just select the part we want. This is the URL that I'm going to use in the external tool. So here we go. We're now in Canvas, and I'm going to go to my um, assignments. I like to let my web work have its own category of assignments. So let's create an assignment group. And so this is going to be the web work assignment. And I'm going to create a new assignment in here. This is WW1. I usually get over. Uh, 10, so I use two digits there. And I've set my due date, I think, well, let's just be arbitrary right now, on this date. And now here's a cool thing when pass back, when grades are passed back from um, WebWork to Canvas, I don't need to match the number of points. I'm just going to make all of my WebWork assignments worth 10 points. Um, I could make them variable based on how many problems, but I like each assignment to have equal weight. Uh, and so I'm just going to set it to uh, the same value. Now the key is I need to go to more options. And so some of this is pre-filled in. I could type in a little bit of um, explanatory information here. So let's see, for this problem set, um, I could say this is uh, the basic information about the problem set so students can identify it later. The key thing that we need to include for grade passback is this submission type. And I want this homework assignment to be an external tool. And this is the spot where I paste in this URL that I've copied. And remember, I only copied through the assignment ID, WW01. So let's paste that in. And if you pasted the whole thing in, you might need to delete all that extra garbage as an instructor. But just to double check, let's verify what it looks like. I've got the um, address to the WebWork server, my course ID, followed by my set ID. And that's all I need. Um, finally, I'm going to open this in a new tab. Otherwise, well, I'll show you what it looks like if I don't. Let's leave that unchecked. And I should now be ready. So I could um, save and publish this so students would now have access to it. And you can see this is what it looks like if it's inside of its own tab. So I've got my Canvas. And then inside Canvas is this panel that is the WebWorks server. Um, I guess you could leave that like that. But when you open problems, we're sitting inside of Canvas. Um, I don't know, maybe you like that. 
Okay, um, that's actually all there is. So um, I'm going to go back and edit that assignment because I prefer not to have it in its own tab. So let's edit it. Um, I want this in its own tab. I don't want it as part of Canvas. Okay. And now students can access the web work when they access it through this link. Um, now they have to go through a new, a new window. But what that does is now in my homework sets, if I go there, um, well, I'm an instructor, so it doesn't do this grade pass back. But a student, after they've clicked through this one time, uh, this message is going to be gone. They will have already accessed it, and so it'll now be open and they'll be able to get in. That's how I set up an external tool for a particular assignment.